So my name is Kate Stone, and um, my company is called Navalia, and I'm based in Cambridge. And I've heard about Internet of Things for quite a long while, never really thought I dabbled in it or knew what it was, it was just something I'd heard about in the background, and then I've not been to any of the other events, but then kind of thought that maybe a lot of what I do, and a lot of what we do, is maybe Internet of Things, so I thought it'd be good to come along and just share some of the things that, that I do in my company in Navalia. So most of what we do is about making printed things interactive, and print is something that's generally everywhere, it's, it's, it's really per pervasive. And print is the main form of communication that's been around for a long time and actually the main form of communication that's used. It's text and graphics everywhere to communicate things with us. So, so we kind of focus a lot on how we can use print. And another area, there are different areas that we bring together. Another area is using conventional electronics. So using, using really low cost electronics. And I've got to know quite a lot of the toy companies in the US and the people that supply them. And so working with some really low cost chips. So kind of like the processor that was in the Apple II that's now in a greetings card and is now sometimes in Barbie. So um, you can get those chips for about eight or nine cents in volume. So another area that we're bringing into that is using conductive inks in the print to add in capacitive touch. And so much of the technology we have around us is touch sensitive. So we're printing capacitive touch using conductive inks in high volume print processes such as offset litho um, and flexography and also sometimes with screen. So these are the processes that are used to create newspapers, magazines, posters, banners, books and everything and basically we're printing capacitive touch and I have a bunch of bits of print that we've done and some things that make some noise so I could pass some things around. <laughs> it's actually boiled sweet wrapper that we use as a substrate that's 12 microns thick and we've printed an XY multi-touch touchpad. So um, I think the largest one we've printed at the moment is um, a seven inch touchpad. That's a transparent touchpad. It's not as high quality as you get on the iPad, but certainly can go on lots and lots of things. So a transparent multi-touchpad, printed on a boiled sweet wrapper, not that we're gonna put that on boiled sweets, um, but that can be printed at about 100 meters a minute. Um, other stuff that we've printed are some of these things. Um, and these are just digital print with screen print on the reverse to add capacitive touch. Um, so really that's the, kind of the, that's the things we're bringing together. Actually, I should add one more thing. We're also adding in communication as well. So we're working a lot with Bluetooth 4, which is great because we can run things off a coin cell for a year. Um, we're also communicating using sound as well. So we put some sound in some of the things that we touch that communicates with the phone. Um, and we're also um, partnering with a company in the, in the US who do wireless power. So through wireless power, um, there's also communication protocols in there. So you can communicate through Bluetooth 4, sound, and wireless power into things that are printed. And things that are printed are things that are everywhere. And I'll just describe some of the things that we've done as demos. Um, and we've had a few government grants, and we're working on some um, EPRCRC projects as well. So they're kind of the main ones that I can talk about. Um, and some of the other things that we're doing are with toy companies and other companies in the US and hopefully um, we'll have two products released in the US um, about the end of the first quarter of next year which is quite exciting because we haven't actually had a product yet in the whole time we've um, been doing this. Um, and some of the things are, so this is a bit noisy and it's just a poster that makes some horrible noises. <laughs> just, just one of the first things that we did, but it's just to show capacity touch and print. Um, other things that we've created are stuff for um, point of sale and sort of, you know, in-store displays. So I think one of the things I've passed around is a, it's a multiple choice thing that you touch and it works out your perfect cake because the poster talks to you, but it, it actually uploads a picture of the cake to our Facebook and Twitter so people can find out what their perfect cake is from there. But the idea is it's just meant to inspire that in the store, you know, you could touch the POS and, and get answers to, you know, which product to buy which could be connected to the internet, not necessarily for the user, or it could be for the user, but it could be for gathering the data. So the brand might actually be doing a survey while they're actually giving the impression that they're helping someone um, to know what product to buy, so sort of actually gathering the data, which, which things do people like. The cake's interesting. Nearly everyone picks, um, everyone picks chocolate, soft and gooey and dark and dense, and ends up with a chocolate brownie. 
<laughs> okay, this is something else we've done that's just a demo um, with a few universities, but kind of got quite a bit of attention, and I had a large uh, newspaper from the Middle East come over and visit me two weeks ago. Um, this is a newspaper that we've put sound in. It, it connects from the paper to the phone, to my headphones, and you can touch it, and you don't hear what's written, you hear the actual press conference, or you can press the Facebook Live on the paper, or you can rate an article, or, you know, sort of lead some feedback. So we've put that in a newspaper, and, yeah, it just connects, it just connects to your phone. I'll show one more thing, it may or may not work. I like things that make lots of noise. <laughs> I don't know whether this, the volumes. It's a bit quiet, but. And then I will show up. Oh, I'm in charge now. I <laughs> see. Um, it's too loud. So it's just a postcard with Bluetooth 4 on it, and you can touch any of these. Most of these. Touch some ones. Sorts of things where that that's just actually connected to my phone. So that postcard's connected to my phone, and people are interested in things like direct marketing that you might receive through the post. That's a postcard that actually connects to your phone if you download the app, and then suddenly you're on the internet. But it's a postcard. So that's why I kind of thought I realised when I read about the internet things that kind of I think that's what we're doing. We're taking anything that's printed, sticking some low-cost chips in, and connecting them to the internet. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you very much. <laughs>